guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already liked this video and subscribe to my channel so today's video I'm gonna be telling you guys if you cannot tell from the title how to grow as an influencer in 2024 um, it is what two months in already and I, I feel like I think I gained like 5,000 followers if I'm not mistaken I'm almost really at 20k I just hit uh, 19k like yesterday um, so I should be at 20k by like I will give it to like next week. I'm not gonna jinx it, but I give it to next week. But like, guys, I really started posting for real. I started the page, I made the page in May of 2023, right? So in July, I was testing around with it, and then I was like, uh, I'm busy, life hit me hard. I ain't got time to be posting videos consistent. I wasn't being consistent, so I was just like, you know, put the page on the back burner. And then I was just like, I really don't like the fact that like. I already had an Instagram, right? It got deleted last year, 2022. So I already had another Instagram that was like for personal and stuff like that. And I did not want to use it because I feel like a lot of haters follow me. A lot of like dudes that like want to talk to me follow me. And I don't want to post content because like I know how I am. I know I'm goofy. I know sometimes I'll be looking rough. Sometimes I'm be like, you know, saying some wild off the wall shit. But honestly, like the people, all of the people that's following me, like, just think about it like this, guys. If they don't like your content, that means they're like, they're not going to follow you. So, people have been following me. So, obviously, they like my content. My content is going viral. Viral. Well, I said viral. I was trying to say. Thinking of something else, saying something else. But, yeah. So, like, it all started like that for me because I wanted to separate that shit like have two separate things like have two separate lives so basically right now i'm living two separate lives or whatever one page for people that's stalking me trying to find me from school and family members and all that good stuff and then one for the content and occasionally a little stragglers come in like stray dogs you know what i'm saying but they need to hit no dead i just blocked my hide from my story because like i'm over there trying to make some money want this bag you know what i'm saying trying to get into it or whatever do stuff i love create good content funny content share content likable content and that's what we're gonna get into guys so I started um, posting for real for real at the end of September towards October last year 2023 and I was literally at like 550 followers or whatever and then I just was like you know what I'm just gonna try this out you know what I'm saying I started using you know what I'm saying different techniques I started using switching up my hashtags and I was just like you know what I can't keep switching up my hashtags on every video you know what I'm saying they got to know how to categorize me so basically like I just found one set of hashtags like whatever video that went viral first whatever hashtags that was on that video I used for the next all of my videos guys like I don't know what is it with Instagram and like you know what I'm saying with the hashtags and shit like that I cannot tell you what's the like you know what I'm saying deep in depth like you know what I'm saying behind that but like I just took it from there then I start creating content that you know what I'm saying people might think of but they're scared to say or they be like oh oh hell no like I would never post that shit but let me share it let me like it you know let me come and let me share it to my friend or this some off the watch she really said that she be saying what we be thinking that's what I be wanting my followers to be like you know and on my page and I want people to be like oh hell no you know what I'm saying key you get a key but you also get like a little spicy little sexy little side you know what I'm saying I give like relatable content like and content like based on real life like people be so scared to you know what I'm saying post stuff on the internet or say starting stuff and like the internet is in a way of expression like just like our freedom of speech like you we can say whatever we want to say you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying somebody might knock your ass out for it but you can say what you want to say but on i say that to say like don't take it too far you know what i'm saying don't try to get canceled from the stuff you post but just it, like start off with making content about stuff you love whether if it's cooking where you want to act or you want to do skits you want to be a comedian you know what i'm saying you want to eat food and all that stuff i literally low-key i wish i was a food influencer but that's gonna really mess me up because like i don't want to be a lard ass but i really could do that with you guys do some food that's another that's another video but yeah i want to get into that too you know what i'm saying you could just you know start recording what you love and all the time i see a lot of influencers that don't show their face 
face. They're influencers, but they like buy stuff, review stuff. They don't never show their face. They just talk over the video. Like, it's so many ways that, like, you can, you know what I'm saying, find your niche on Instagram and stuff like that and start creating, you know what I'm saying, figuring out the content that you want to post when you make that Instagram. So after you do that, you know what I'm saying, make sure you're on a creator account. Make sure you have a solid bio. You know what I'm saying? You could do something cute like, you know what I'm saying, content creator. You know what I'm saying? How people want to, how you want people to reach you if they want to collab and just put like little cute stuff don't make it too dense don't make it too like you know what i'm saying lengthy or whatever um and then like just start posting reels just post often as much as you can if you cannot post every day try to like post at least three to five times a week i know that's like a lot as well that's basically like <clears throat> every day but it's like seven days in a week so bitch get to it you know what i'm saying you can't just you can't get to where i am by like not doing no work and at first yeah you're gonna be like what's the point of this like what's the point of me making these videos for these people like and i'm not even getting no likes i'm not even getting no shares i'm not even getting no comments i'm not even getting paid for the shit what's the point of me making it but you're doing it just because you see the potential you see what I'm congested, but you see what comes from, you know what I'm saying, being a content creator and being an influencer, you get collaborations, you get paid promotions, you get deals, you get partnerships, you get all of those things, you get free stuff. Like, just think of the benefits and it's all while doing stuff you love. That's, I feel like, that's why some people do it, but some people do it just for the fame. You know what I'm saying? Some people were like, oh, having followers is enough for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care to capitalize off of it. I don't care to monetize my my popularity or my fans or supporters or whatever they call, you know what I'm saying, their followers and stuff like that. But yeah, so start off by posting reels. Don't say too much, you know what I'm saying, in the little caption. Just have like a little set of hashtags you want to use. First of all, <clears throat> just like you know explore more viral reels reels comedy funny blah 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 or whatever it relates to in your video make sure you include like at least like 15 hashtags in the caption and then make sure you be like oh follow blank 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 for more yourself duh you know what i'm saying and then um or if you ain't follow blah 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 or you can be like in the caption you can promote you know what i'm saying something you got going on in your bio and stuff like that make sure you have you know what I'm saying? For being an influencer, it's hard. So I'm going to get into that too. Like, I'm going to get into the other stuff. So we're on the captions. <laughs> it's a lot. So once you get that, say a little something about the video. If you post something about, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to beat the up and then be like, the fuck? Yeah, whatever thought. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make it like PG, you know what I'm saying? Because Instagram is very, very sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Once you got a good caption, good video, make sure you got a good camera, make sure you got good lighting. This is good lighting right here. You can you always use natural lighting. You do not have to have a ring light. You do not have to be in a special place, bitch. You don't even have to get out your bed to create a video. You know what I'm saying? And you can also, you know what I'm saying, look at others for inspiration i didn't say copy i said inspiration okay so you can always look at others for inspiration so you know what i'm saying if you see a video like that doing good recreate it you know what i'm saying make it your own and then post it and watch watch it go up you know what i'm saying i find that for me like once i cross like post videos like from tiktok to instagram they don't ever do well but when i create videos inside the instagram app they always blow up like especially when i use sounds from instagram as well and i don't use my own sound that's for me i'm telling y'all what is going on for me um, so also when you are a creator, you want to have a email so you can have people, companies reach out to you for paid collaborations or promotions or, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't want to do everything in your DM because also you're going to get a lot of unwanted DMs as more followers, as more followers you get, as much like people is going to pay. More people are going to like, going to DM you, just weird shit. They're gonna to reply to your story, even though you didn't ask for a reply. I mean, yeah, people are gonna do that. Like, when you being an influencer, people are gonna to respond to your story, people are gonna message you, people are going da, da 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 da. I feel like it's best for me to have my DMs closed, or sometimes I like a um, message or something like that because. I, this is strictly like a job for me. Like, I don't, I want to get to know, I want people to know me, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to tell them to go to my YouTube, you know what I'm saying, to get the real me. But I'm posting more on there, like my real life and stuff like that. And I'm going to start doing like more videos. And I post a lot of pictures over there too first because I feel like I get a lot of traction over there. I get a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Um, what's it called? 
what is it called? Interactions. You know what I'm saying? Over there, I get comments, likes, and they love me over there. Like, I love them too. I love y'all too. I love y'all too. But it be a lot. Like, the notifications be rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling in. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like too much and i'd be like all right because like if i stay on the page a long time like i'll start going through the comments i'll start blocking people i'll start responding and i'll be like nah i can't say that so let me delete this let me just block you you know what i'm saying and i just be you know what i'm saying i know what comes with it you know what i'm saying you're gonna get some hate comments you're gonna have good comments everything is not gonna be good you have to have thick skin as well you have to be prepared for those trolls sitting on their mama couch they fat funky big back ass Sit down on a mama's couch, prepare to get on their Twitter fingers like this, ha ha ha, behind their phone where they secure in their mama house. But they won't come outside, they won't catch a fight to get their happy. You know what I'm saying? They behind a little phone screen, talk about you, talk about how your face look, how you talk. They talk about my lisp all the time. That's why like, I don't do many videos of me talking because I'm tired of that shit. I mean, if you're real sensitive, you also can filter your comments as well, but I feel like they can also like, you know, hinder your what? Exactly. It can hinder like your videos going viral. It can hinder like, you know what I'm saying, your interactions and stuff like that. It can affect how your video does on Instagram. So, you know what I'm saying, gotta have tits, you gotta have thick skin and you just gotta just start posting just get out there just start like get out of your head like stop but like oh what they gonna think fuck them i be like that every day i post what i want to post and i say what i want to say and i be like that like in real life like people are like oh you're an a-hole i'm like no you just can't take it you can't handle the truth <laughs> a lot of people can't so just be you just be authentic you know what i'm saying have good lighting post great content um and you're for sure to grow for sure people grow people blow up all the time without without trying you know what i'm saying i'm trying to you know what i'm saying get into my tiktok bag we're gonna get into that as well i might have to you know what i'm saying shy away from instagram because that's what i've been focusing on you know what i'm saying so i can get all types of stuff and it's been working i've been making money i made my first thousand dollars off you know what i'm saying just promoting 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 so yeah like i'm in there like booty hair so guys I feel like that is it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, make sure you guys um, leave it in the comment section below. Or you guys can DM me on Insta, all of my socials and all of those things of the nature. It's in the description box below. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. K-Squad, yeah, bye.